It's 5.40 a.m., time for a run. Imagine being woken by your own personal sunrise. Cool white light gradually brightens, luring you out of bed and into your shoes. You're ready to run and fully awake. It's amazing what the right light at the right time does for our bodies. When you get back from your run, the sun is up. As you walk through the door, the lights respond to your presence and illuminate to just the right level with without wasting energy by harnessing natural sunlight. Hi, I'm Neil Joseph, founder and CEO of Stack. Over the past year, we've been building a team of hardware and software engineers from companies like Tesla, NASA, HP Labs, Google, Microsoft, and several others to develop products that really enhance our lives and can change industries. So we asked ourselves, with the explosion of connected devices, what could we really focus on that would make the biggest impact on our day-to-day -day lives? As it turns out, light plays a major role on our health and well-being. Our circadian rhythm, which is our body's natural cycle, has a major influence on our mental, physical, and behavioral well-being. And as it turns out, lights are the most common electronic devices in any building. Now, I'm sure you've all heard of smart lights, but the thing is, they're not actually smart. They're really just, con <coughs> they're really just connected bulbs that move the switch from the wall to the phone and are usually complicated to set up and are often more of a hassle to deal with than the products they replace. So over the past year, we've been working really, really hard to develop technologies that, power the, that combine the power of a commercial-grade lighting control system that's a picture of one up there. And these usually cost hundreds of thousands of dollars to set up into a beautiful, simple form factor. So today, I'm very excited to introduce the world to Alba by Stack. Alba is the world's first responsive light bulb that has embedded sensors that include, uh, that can measure ambient light, occupancy in a room, adjust its color temperature automatically by the location and time of day, and learns what you'll want to experience a, a better environment. Also, each bulb is able to become a beacon to help us provide unprecedented resolution and analytics. What we've been seeing in our pilot sites are energy savings of 60 to 80 percent compared to regular LEDs. So let me show you how simple ALBA is to set up. All you do is screw it in, Plug in the hub, Elmo please, and with the tap of two buttons, setup can be complete. Slides please. With that, each bulb can automatically respond to ambient light and always set the right level of brightness without wasting energy. It can set the color temperature from a cool blue in the morning to a warmer yellow in the evening to help keep our bodies on its natural circadian rhythm. And if you get up to grab that midnight snack or go to the bathroom, all but just lights a path instead of waking you up. And what I'm really excited about, I hope in the next couple years we banish the phrase, remember to turn off the lights. So with our patent pending sensor technologies, what we're really excited about is Alba can help form the basis of a responsive sensor network using the lights throughout any building. They'll help connect with your other connected devices to help them work better to provide an overall more comfortable experience for the user. Now, all this technology is also very applicable to commercial buildings. Whether it's setting the right brand experience, helping your employees be more productive, or outright running your business more efficiently, this can all be had without a major facility's retrofit. And it also helps you comply with new energy savings regulations like Title 24 in California. So over the next year, we will have the major formats of lights from bulbs to fixtures that can be used in both homes and commercial settings. We are also going to be rolling out software packages mainly for our commercial customers that include beacon functionality and unprecedented high-resolution analytics through APIs. Consumers will be able to purchase directly from our website or Amazon, and commercial customers will be able to purchase through leading lighting distributors. 
So starting today, please go to our website at stacklighting.com and pre-order the BR30 format or reserve one of our future formats that of ALBA, which is really, again, it's the first responsive light bulb with sensors built in that just work very, very simply. You just screw it in. We know once you experience our technology, you will ha enjoy a better life through better light. Thank you. All right, great job. One, uh, one housekeeping note, uh, Sequoia is invested in LifeX, which is a, a competitor to Stack. So are we. Oh, okay, yeah. the angel <laughs> as well. All right, anyone else? Cool. Judges, what do you guys think? Can you explain the, the relationship between the bulb and the hub? Like, how many hubs do you need? Do you need a hub for every room? So we use Zigbee in our lights, so you only need one hub typically in a building, and each hub, uh, because of the mesh networking through Zigbee, can, you can connect to thousands of devices. Why go and build your own hub? Why not just use something like SmartThings or the Nest network? So it, potentially in the future we could, but at the get-go, because we don't necessarily know that every customer would have one of those, we can't rely on that. And that's why you can buy our starter kit or the individual bulbs. So why not use the, just use Wi-Fi the way that LifeX does? The reason is uh, from some of the power constraints, uh, the amount of power that it uses, and the ability to mesh network in the way that we want it to provide a really simple setup. The power, in general, they're plugged in, so power shouldn't be a real issue, right? They're, they're screwed into yeah, a socket, right? Right, no, but just still the outright power that each, each unit uses. Plus a big aspect is the overall user experience from adding and, and meshing more and more bulbs together. And so talk about how it fits into the existing house. Like I was playing around with the Philips Hue bulbs yeah. and um, you know, they're fun. You, you, do, you, you program them in, you try to program with your phone, but then you know, your kid turns off the light switch and then you're, you're out of luck because it's not connected <laughs> or not turned on, right? So you can't do it automatically anymore. So tell me about how you think about light switches in the house. So that you can turn the light switches off and when you turn them back on, the bulbs default to their last known configuration or they communicate with the hub that would say, you know, we're onto a new profile. Right, and so do you think about how to fix the switch to then? Yeah, I mean, the ultimate thing would be just leave the switches on, hmm. and then it's always right. connected. And so the, the, the people I know that have done this all have little paper stickers they everywhere in the house, <laughs> do not touch. <laughs> I mean, eventually we would love to make, you know, I think that's everyone's goal, I know, certainly, you know, with Nest uh, too, is to make this really responsive home that hopefully you just walk around and everything just works. And so we're just trying to get it closer and closer to that. Okay, and you were critical of the price points of everybody else's lights, and then, you, then your, sort of your reveal is about 60 bucks a bulb, so yeah. is that, talk about that. So that's about the same as other connected bulbs, that's the same price as the yeah. Philips Hue, but we pack all these extra sensors and functionality directly into it. Okay, so your criticism wasn't really the price point, it was that they don't have enough sensors. Right, okay. because ultimately, like any new technology, it usually starts higher, and then as time goes on, price comes down. What can you measure with the sensors? We're able to measure ambient light directly under it, as well as motion and uh, part of the motion. Uh, we have some algorithms to try to determine the occupancy. Uh, and do you have different form factors? Because this isn't gonna fit into all the light fixtures. Right, so this is the form factor for recessed can lights. And we chose that because that will work in, a, in many houses, as well as also in some commercial spaces like retail and um, in hospitality to start with. And that's why we have that roadmap over the next year with uh, more and more fix more formats like the A style, which is the typical lamp. Uh, if you want brighter or different light, how do you get it? So we have an app, and that's what we only showed briefly. And on there, you can override any presets. So whether you want uh, it to be brighter or a different color temperature. And you talked a little bit about your backgrounds. Can you talk a little bit more about sort of the inspiration behind this, sort of sure. the research behind it? Yeah, so it started, I was at Tesla for the past several years. Uh, I was sitting early last year in uh, headquarters and it was a beautiful sunny day. And I just thought, you know, why are these lights on at full power? When, uh, why can't they dim like our phones or laptops? And so as I looked for products that could do that, there weren't any uh, except for lighting control systems. And so from there I set out to uh, develop the technology and then started building a team. Uh, Jovi here, Jovi and Rob are my co-founders. Uh, Jovi heads hardware engineering and Rob software. Great. 
So how do you how do you win win? Like you know, with a lot of these things, I go and I buy one or two of them. I play with it. You know, you right. spend a weekend on it. You forget about it. And then you know, if you think about putting these bulbs all throughout your house, you're talking you know potentially thousands of dollars. Like what's a what's a big win in someone's home, and why would they spend that much money? So you, again, like any you know new technology, it starts higher. But where we see it is you know the rooms that you're in the most. So I would picture you know the kitchen, family room, and bedrooms. You know, one of the features we'll have is, you know, you, you can set your alarm at what time you want to wake up and what time you want to go to bed. And what we're able to do is, you know, of course, have it start coming up before you have to wake up with a cooler blue light. It uh, helps get you out of bed. And throughout the day, uh, wherever you are the most, that's where we would recommend to start with. And because it's not just, you know, just for fun, it really does, light does play a big impact on our health. More questions? Would you, who here would, would put this in their home? Or do you already have smart light bulbs or other <laughs> fixtures? Is that, right? the hub is that is a, you already have them or you would put them in there? Both, both, yeah. Both, <laughs> all right. How so, long does one last? Sorry, uh, like most LEDs, uh, we're, we expect 50,000 hours. That's what it's being designed to. So in a home that would typically be over 30 years and in a commercial setting being on for 12 hours a day, that would be over 11 years. And can you talk a little bit more, and forgive me if, already, if you already talked about it, why is this light bulb so special? Why is it that, that Philips and the other light bulb makers cannot integrate similar algorithms and sensing technology to do something similar? Um, our backgrounds uh, really are, so Joby had been working for NASA doing advanced research on different types of sensor technologies. And so we've just taken that background uh, between him and then myself to really package that into a, a, a seamless you know, one unit that you screw in. And it's the understanding of just thinking about what is the user experience that we want combined with the technology to deliver that. So, but how hard is it to, to detect the brightness of the room and the color temperature of the room? Is that a challenging feat? It is. We have to come up with several uh, very innovative engineering solutions to do that. You know, similar, you know, the, the biggest analogy is what we're trying to do effectively is cancel out the light being emitted by the device itself to be able to re understand how much light is underneath that bulb. And so that's, that's kind of the core of our IP. Any more questions? All right, that was Stack. Thank you guys very much. Thank you.